Welcome back to Badwick Drama News. I'm your host, Badwick, and I'm here making the news simple just like you. So for tonight's episode, we got three big news stories for you today. Our first story is about the co-founder of OTK Entertainment and how he has announced that he is issuing out defamation lawsuits against those who originally accused him of sexual assault. Our second story of the night involves the man himself, Logan Paul, and that Logan Paul recently came out today claiming that he has a plan set in place to issue out refunds to those who were involved in CryptoZoo and how he plans to sue the notorious individuals that led to the whole scandal. And our third story of our night is some good old-fashioned internet gossip. We have Sneeko and Ricegum together talking shit about Neon and his girlfriend Sam and how they both believe that they plan to break up very, very soon. Stay tuned for more, and before we continue with the episode, I just want to say like that like button if you enjoy the content, subscribe if you want to see more of it, and comment down below your opinions of the stories that we talked about today, and just critiques you have of the channel, because I read all the comments, and I do my best to respond to all of them, and I really do appreciate the time you guys give me each day. So, let's just get into the story! So our first story of the night involves the co-founder of OTK Entertainment, Rich Campbell. So Rich was a content creator, streamer, that did very, very well for himself. Unfortunately, in the year 2022, he was accused of sexual assault by fellow streamer Azalea Lexi. Now Azalea and a few others came out claiming that he has sexually assaulted them, which caused Rich to step down from his position of OTK and also make a quick statement on Twitter saying that he was going to come forth soon and address the allegations. Unfortunately, he went MIA. He just left the internet. And then in the year 2023, at the beginning of December, Azalea officially filed a sexual assault case against Rich. Now, Rich, just weeks later, filed a massive, and I mean massive, defamation suit against Azalea for over $3 million. Now, recently, Rich's lawyers came out to make a statement for him claiming that they are going to fix his name, that Rich spent his entire adult life building his brand, creating content, and getting his name out in the world, and that they want to make a point with this case that people can't just falsely accuse people of situations and get away with it. So, this story is going to go into the courts and become a massive legal battle. I'm curious that if Rich wins this, will he come back to content creation? And if Azalea is charged and found like, well, she did lie about the situation and it wasn't actually sexual assault and she was just saying it, what's going to happen to her brand? I mean, is she going to leave the internet? Like, will she lose sponsors and deals? That sort of stuff. Th this case is developing. I'm interested in it personally because, like I said, it happened years ago. And now we're finally getting an update on it. So I'm curious on what you guys think about it. Let me know in the comments if you're going to, if you plan to follow this case or if you are excited to hear about the updates of it because I personally am. And I'm curious that if Rich does come back to the internet and he wins this case, will he get back with OTK or arguably get his old position back? Who knows? So for a second story of the night, we are going to be talking about Logan Paul and the mess that was CryptoZoo. So if you're unaware of what CryptoZoo was, back in 2021, Logan Paul announced a very big secretive NFT project that ended up becoming CryptoZoo. So the whole idea of CryptoZoo was that you could buy these NFT animal pictures and mix them to make hybrids and then trade them within the community. Um, it was a strange thing. Honestly, I always thought it was weird. However, some people really invested a lot of money into this. Unfortunately, the whole thing was exposed to be a scam by YouTuber CoffeeZilla in 2023 when he dissected this entire project. He got into a public argument with Logan Paul confronted him on it that forced Logan Paul to come out and announce that yes there were some vicious individuals in this that did scam people and Logan himself was even robbed of some money from this project. Now it has been determined that CryptoZoo is just done. Today Logan made a tweet talking about how he officially is shutting CryptoZoo down and that he is offering out refunds until 
February 8th. Now, you have to submit a form on the CryptoZoo website to get a refund. But basically, Logan Paul is buying back the NFTs you purchased. That's what it seems to be like. And he is he wants to put this whole mess behind him. However, in his lengthy tweet he made, he has stated that he plans to go after the people that ruined this project, that made it slimy and sour, and he is going to do it the legal way through the courts. Now, I'm curious on what you guys have to think about Logan Paul in this situation. Do you think him refunding everyone is appropriate, and do you think it's enough? Or do you guys think he should do more? Because... He wants to put this whole situation behind him. And I'm surprised that he is refunding people because most times when people get scammed, they get nothing back. So I, I do want to give Logan Paul a little bit of a thumbs up on that for refunding the people involved in this. However, a lot of people, they're, they're, Logan ruined his rent. This was another like mark in his book for notorious things he has done. Do you think he will ever put Crypto Zoo behind him? I know some people will hold him to it forever and they won't trust anything financially with him anymore, but I'm just curious on what you guys want think of the situation. Like, will you trust him or do you think he's just like kind of a slime bag? Let me know in the comments down below and let me know if you think he's done enough by refunding these people. I'm curious to hear what you say. Next story. So for our final story of the night, we got Rice Gub and Sneeko shit talking neon and sam now neon and sam have been like kind of the head of the news lately from a lot of people a lot of people have been going at uh neon's girlfriend sam i mean we had aiden ross making fun of them now we got sneeko and rice gum now if you guys don't know who rice gum is he is one of the og shit talkers on youtube like rice gum was around when i was younger man let's be honest so these two got into a call and here's what they said about neon and his girlfriend sam bro my prediction too with the sam shit is like you like it's like oh there's like a honeymoon stage bro it's like fading bro like they're about to break up soon is what i'm feeling bro it sounds like you're praying on the downfall no that, that's you like i like and you and you always heard me like i'm always like yeah i don't care if he's happy but just from her body language and shit, bro, I just saw some clips of her just like, like just dubbing my boy and shit. I was like, damn. Wait, and so the honeymoon phase over. I saw what you shit. said. It, it's you said like she pretty much like she got everything out of it or something. Like, are, are you trying to say? That? Yeah, I mean, maybe that she's not growing as hard anymore. I don't. I mean, like I may growing, be wrong. You growing. Know? I, I thought it should be growing in love, not in clout. I mean, I don't know, bro. I don't know what happened, but I don't see that love anymore, bro. So there you go. You saw Sneeko and Rice Gum talking about Neon and his girlfriend, Sam. Now, I didn't think what they said was that bad, to be honest. Some people were like, oh, look what they're saying. Look at them shit talking. Honestly, they were just chit chatting about Neon and Sam. And it almost seems like Rice Gum is sympathetic to Neon over Sam. Because Ricegum thinks Sam's arguably in it just for the clout with Neon. Now, Sneeko was kind of on the backseat there. Just, you know, I, I don't think he gave a whole lot of takes. But I, it's hard to say with people nowadays when it comes to internet clout and that sort of thing. Like, maybe she is just with him for the clout. And maybe they are going to break up soon. I mean, if it happens, Ricegum gets a W for predicting this. Now, I want to know what you guys think about this whole thing, because this sort of group of people on the internet are always in dramas, they're always fighting with each other. I'm going to feel bad for Neon if they break up, I really will. The guy generally seemed very happy with Sam. So if it turns out Sam's a cloud chaser, ooh, ouch! But, you know what? If it's not, I mean, I guess everyone else gets the L. Time will only tell. I mean, personally, I do think they're going to break up, let's be honest. These online couples with, like, streamers and content creators hardly ever fucking works out, I'm going to be honest. So, I want to know what you think about what Rice Gum and Sneeko said about Neon and his girlfriend, Sam. Comment down below what you think about it. And also, I just want to say thank you for watching tonight's episode. I apologize if things were a little blech tonight. I'm fucking tired as hell. So, I just, again, hit that like button if you like the show. Subscribe if you want to see more. And comment down below your overall thoughts on the episode. I love you guys so much. And I will see you tomorrow night with another episode of Badwick Drama News.